Dear student, I am Dr. Aruna Chakravarti, Associate Professor of Zoology, Government Dungar College, Bikane. Welcome to our channel, Learning Zoology with AC. Today, we will discuss locomotion in fishes. Locomotion of fishes provides a number of interesting information to the ichthyologist. The knowledge of the different method of locomotion is yet not fully understood because fishes in aquaria or somewhere else other than their natural inhabitation tend to behave in a manner somewhat different from the normal. But now with the help of cinematography, Bratter 1966 has given a detailed, authenticated, quite interesting account. Besides much more illustrated and elaborate work was published by Gray in the recent years of understand the muscular action and hydrodynamics of fish locomotion. Fishes besides muscular actions are however also adapted to other modes of locomotion as well. In addition to swimming, walking or creeping on the aquatic floor, skipping about on sand or mud, burrowing and wriggling or dry land, leaping and flying is also practiced by some fishes for probation. But this method are of specialized nature and point towards secondary adaptation evolved in response to a change in habits or environment and are often indicated by some kind of modification in certain organs to achieve this particular goal. There are three primary methods employed by fishes to produce forward movement in aquatic environment. Body movement due to alternate expansion and contraction of the myomeres, movement of the appendages that is fin, movement caused by the action of jet of water expelled from the gill opening during the process of respiration. Beside this, three primary modes of locomotion following may be regarded a special method of locomotion namely jumping, walking, crawling, skipping, climbing, tetrapoda like walking, burrowing and flying. The first method is the most common while other being auxiliary to it. In majority of the fishes these three methods are interrelated and one or all be used simultaneously or independently at different times or even at the same time for the common end of driving the fish forward. The fin movement is for slow progression but at danger, threaten or prey appearing inside, body movement quickly comes into play. Now, principles of locomotion in fishes. The structures that help fishes in their locomotion are tail and caudal fin. During swimming, the tail is lashed from side to side by alternate contraction and relaxation of the muscles on the opposite side of the vertebral column. During such movement, the tail is first bent to one side referred to as non-effective or back stroke. By a stroke in the reverse direction, the fish tail is extended and straightened, referred to as forward or effective stroke. By a rapid succession of these strokes to left and right side, alternately the fish forces its way to the water. Now, locomotion in fishes has been classified into three types. First one is anguli form that is eel-like. Second one is ostracy form that is trunk fish-like. And third one is carangi form or jack-like. 
एंगुलर फॉर्म टाइप ऑफ लोकोमोशन इज सर्पेंटाइन इन नेचर एंड इज फाउंड इन ईल्स इट इज ब्रॉड अबाउट बाय सिक्वेंशियल अल्टरनेट कॉन्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द माओटोम्स ऑन ईच साइड ऑफ द बॉडी ऑस्ट्रेसी फॉर्म लोकोमोशन इज ए विग वैग मोशन सीन स्पेशली इन द स्कलिंग एक्शन ऑफ द टैल एंड फाउंड इन ट्रंक फिशेज इट इज इंड्यूस्ड बाय सिंपल अल्टरनेट कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ ऑल द मसल सेगमेंट on one side of the body and then on the other the alternating contraction cause the tail to switch back and forth like a paddle behind the relatively rigid trunk of the fish is the bony the body moves in a series of short cross arcs in the water as the fish progresses forward Kerengi form is the most common type of locomotion. In this type, the fish drives itself forward by side by side sweeps of the tail region. It is actually an intermediate type between first and second types. Such locomotion is brought about by alternate contraction of myotomes on first one side of the body and then the other. starting behind the head it throws the body of the fish into short curve alternating from one side to other and also moves the front end in a series of short cross occur arcs each move behind in the direction opposite to that of the sweep of the tail thus the head and functions as a fulcrum for the tail working as a flexible lever now modes of locomotion in fishes first of all we discuss jumping some fishes jump to escape from enemy for food or for purely joy sake generally by the fish swimming rapidly upward through the surface of water into the air giving a sharp flick with its tail as it leaves the water medium all the active propulsion is provided by the muscular action of the body while in the water but the passing into relative re- relatively less dense air accelerates the speed considerably and makes powerful leaps possible with a fairly slight muscular efforts example mullets or marine gar now flying flying fishes when projected from the water by a stroke of powerful tail expands its large pectoral fin and using them after the fashion of parachute floats or glide through the air with fin stretch and rigid like an aeroplane example exocetus now walking in cephalocanthus the lower portion of their sizable pectoral fins are divided into three or four finger like rays which they use for walking as an insect uses its leg now crawling lophius that is angler fish habitually uses the pectoral fins for crawling above the sea bottom now skipping indian gobies peri periopthalamus commonly called mud skipper uses its pectoral fin which are bent at an angle like elbow joint for hopping over sandy flats left bare by the repeating tides now climbing indian climbing perch anabas testudinus uses its upper collar spines for ascending over trees now tetrapoda like walking lung fishes move slowly 
and deliberately like salamanders or mud puppies raise themselves on their peculiar pectoral appendages and pause for a while and then they move their head reason sideways example protopterus neoceratodus now burrowing eels burrow into mud by their snouts possibly resting into the mud unless a base grip is achieved swimming speed of fishes actual swimming that is travel speed in fishes vary by species size of the fish and temperature of the aquatic environment in general they they travel approximately 10 times the length of the body in the feet per second thus for any fish species the larger the size the greater the speed would be swimming speed in miles per hour now muscle power of fishes for locomotion the muscle power of fishes has been calculated to be about 0.002 horse power per pound of body weight from the foregoing description it appears that there are three primary methods of locomotion which drive the fishes in water but in addition to them many fishes have adopted to their own ways of movement according to their own need and the environment in which they are placed by nature now role of muscles in locomotion locomotory movements in fishes is the result of coordinated action of muscles of the body and those of the fins in other words the axial myotomal muscles and the appendicular muscles are directly involved in locomotion in fishes the muscles of the fish body are differentiated into segmental myomeres by connective tissue septa the myomeres of teleos are generally successive segments fitting one into another in a tight complex manner the orientation of individual muscle fiber is according to, accordingly altered to varying direction fish possessing a large number of myomeres have more flexible body than other repeated contraction and relaxation of the myomeres on the opposite sides generates undulatory waves originating in the cephalic region and going down to the caudal region this causes a thrust causing forward propulsion of the body during swimming in water median fin movement during swimming for propulsion and steering is brought about by paired muscles attached to the base of the fin rays these are erector or protector dorsalis depressor or retractor muscles and inclinator muscles this cause erection or bending of the fin the caudal or tail fin contains some additional muscles at its base muscles between the fin rays are responsible for expansion and contraction of the caudal fin paired fins contain abductor and adductor muscles for outward and inward movement of the fin now muscle innervations two contrasting type of myotomal muscles are found in teleos the white and the dark muscles white muscles form the bulk of the body musculature and are light colored and constitute about 80 to 90% of the 
total myotomal muscles. These are comparable to the striated muscles of other vertebrates, exhibiting lesser number of mitochondria, leg, myoglobin, and thinner Z lines, single axon innervation, and fewer capillaries. Less active fishes as the carps and cod contain large proportion of white muscles whereas active fishes like herrings and mackerel possess large proportion of dark muscles. Dark muscles are brown or red in color due to the presence of myoglobin. Dark muscles have narrower cells as compared to white muscles. Fin muscles are mostly dark muscles. This exhibit large number of mitochondria and broad Z line. This constitute 5 to 10 percent of total muscle mass and require sufficient oxygen during active swimming. For this, these are equipped with better vascularization in the form of Vitae Mirabai. Also, lipase activity is greater in dark muscles. Regarding the motor innervation, motor and plate type of synaptic connection are common for voluntary muscles. The axon of the giant Mothner cell pair located in the medulla serve as the neural regulator for simultaneous contraction of trunk and tail muscles of one side of the body causing forward propulsion during swimming. Multiple innervations is found in muscle fibers. Now acting forces during swimming. The salient forces like gravity, drag, your rolling etc act on fish body during swimming in aquatic body that bring efficient locomotion and prevent disbalancing actually density actually density of the fish body is more than the surrounding water which may cause sinking of the fish a vertical lift is generated by swimming to counter gravity. Swim bladder is also helpful in countering the gravity since it reduces the density of the fish. Gas volume in the bladder is regulated to enable the fish to move down or to rise up. Oil deposits of low density found in some tissues of deep sea fishes also gives static lift. Drag function is reversed to the forward progression of the fish and it is due to the resistance produced by water. Undulatory movement of the fish body create an active force directed backward. For every active force there is a reactive force that is Newton's law which is directed forward. It is called thrust. Streaming, streamlined body of fish and mucus covering of the body reduce the drag. Movement of the anterior end that is head to right and left is called yawning whereas the movement of the head up and down is called pitch. This action are overcome by the movement of various fins, rolling tendency of the fish body in clockwise or anticlockwise direction is overcome by the median fins that act as keel. So thank you student, thanks for watching.